Welcome back to Mass Effect 3, everyone. We're on the Citadel. We have uh, fled the Mars base. We've recovered um, most of the Prothean data that was the kind of blueprints for the means to stop the Reapers. We've captured, uh, was it Dr. Eva? Dr. Eva, the, the Cerberus agent who'd worked her way into uh, the Mars base, uh, who seemed... Obviously, she looked like a human when we when we spotted her, but then after we blew the ship up, she kind of turned into like a Terminator um, and nearly killed Ashley. We managed to stop her just. She was making a run for us at the end. So I don't know if she's maybe like augmented, an augmented human or if she is actually an android because she looked like she was made of stone almost, right? Or like uh, like a really dull metal alloy. Uh, so I don't even know how we managed to stop her considering that, but yeah, scary. Maybe she's been brainwashed, so maybe we'll actually get to have her on board. Maybe? I don't know. That's that's my prediction anyway, but we need to go talk to the council. But first, we need to go and talk, uh, see, check on Ashley, right? Um, check if she's okay. Uh, but before we do that, um, we can hit... First deployment oh. is somewhere near Palavan. Reports say not to depend on comms. I'll leave vid messages then, and you can do the same. Well, they said that due to concerns about signal congestion, we're supposed to avoid sending messages at all. They're trying to keep war data coming through, so every data packet counts. So, how am I supposed to talk with you then? You can't. You can't. Okay. Where the hell are we? Right, three is the viewing deck. One is the Normandy airlock. Two is the passenger lounge. Diana Allers is there. And four is the security checkpoint, which is where we need to go to get in to the Citadel. So Diana. Ma'am, I can't say when we're deploying or where or why. But you're on the Normandy, right? I saw it dock. Oh, another journalist. She did, didn't she? So why would she be here unless she's seeing the council? Ma'am, I can't talk about that. You don't have to. Command Shepard. What's going on here? Commander, just who I was looking for. Diana Allers, Alliance News Network. I think we can help each other. I don't have the greatest track record with reporters. <laughs> I know, and it hasn't exactly endured you to a galactic audience, but that can change. I'm a military reporter with the show called Battle Space. We're carried on just about all council planets. My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. What? Why would I want that? Wars can be won or lost in the editing room, and this war needs to be won. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that, or do I keep looking? This is a terrible idea. <laughs> Never trust a journal. Ever. What is with that dress? I can see, like, areola outline. <laughs> areola. I meant the goalkeeper, okay? That's what I meant. The, uh, the footballer. Uh, all right, Diana. Fine. Tell your producers yes for now. We'll see how it works out. Report to the ship as soon as possible. Any questions? How much gear can I bring? One footlocker. Aye, aye, Commander. The Alliance, military has Alliance News Network. <laughs> yeah, uh, I need to uh, mark all as red. At some point. This is a tragedy. The Citadel is an... Right, uh, what I'm going to have to do, guys, I'm going to mark all as viewed, and you guys are going to have to tell me, I think. 50,000 years ago, the Protheans were the only spacefaring species in the galaxy. They vanished in a swift galactic extinction. This is new. This Only is new. This is new. 
I'm going to read this thing on the proteins and then we're going to go and see how Ashley's doing. Yeah, I think all of these are new, man. I really do think all of these are new. 50,000 years ago, the proteans were the only space-faring species in the galaxy. They vanished in a swift galactic extinction. Only the legacy of their empire remains. They're believed to have built the mass relays in the citadel, which allows numerous species to explore and expand throughout the galaxy. Prothean ruins are found on worlds across the galaxy, while surprisingly intact for the rage, functioning examples of Prothean paleo technology are rare. Time and generations of looters have picked their dead cities and derelict stations clean. Some believe the Protheans meddled in the evolution of younger races. The Hanar homeworld of Karjay, for example, shows clear evidence of former Prothean occupation. The presence of a former Prothean observation post on Mars has caused a rebirth of interventionary evolutionists among humans. These individuals believe the god myths of ancient civilizations are misremembered encountered with aliens. Okay, I think we have read that. I remember the bit about Karji. You guys are just going to have to tell me. Um, because what I can do is I can just have a quick look back through episodes, see which new things have, have, have you know, flashed up on screen and go back and read them specifically. So uh, you're going to have to tell me. I'm going to avoid the codex then. So for a couple of episodes, I'm probably not going to read stuff unless it's really important. And then if you tell me, I'll just mark all as viewed, then it'll be a bit easier to navigate this. Because, oh God. A war asset. Yeah, propaganda is an asset, right? So that's why I was thinking to, to bring her. Sorry, I should have said that before I, I, I asked her. Yes, thank you, Captain Mustache. Incursions by enemy forces are being reported in Turian colonies. Fighting is said to have reached Palavin. Yeah, we've been to that planet. Okay, looks like the Turians have taken over CSEC again. Okay, we've got a slightly better animation now. Wait, what? Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. Uh, I'm going to go see Ashley Welcome first. Ashley. I don't know if this is going to affect things, but uh, we should check up on her, right? Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. We've got a shop here. Oh, I didn't talk to the Avena. Come on, Matt. Sorry, guys. Hegemony. I've been saying Welcome, it wrong. Commander Shepherd. One moment, please. Sorry, I'm going to go talk to the Avena. <laughs> I said I was going to do it. Now arriving at docking bay oh god, the running doesn't look great in these in this jumpsuit. In these overalls. We're kind of ice skating. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to the Citadel. This is docking bay D-24. Note that due to recent events, official identification and weapons permits may be requested by CSEC personnel for routine verification. Okay. Any other important areas I should know about? Docking Bay E-24 has been repurposed into temporary housing to accommodate the recent influx of civilians to the Citadel. Okay. If you wish to contact your species' official Citadel representative, please go to Citadel Embassies. For medical needs, the Presidium offers leading-edge care at the Huerta Memorial Hospital. The Presidium Commons have been a cultural mainstay since the Council was first established at the Citadel. Okay, the Avenas were more annoying in, to, in Mass Effect 2, right? The voice? Okay. What's with the heightened security? New screening fields have been added in order to speed up processing at the security stations in each docking area. Citadel security screening technology uses highly advanced biometric authentication systems developed by the CERTA Foundation. Please note that any attempt to circumvent Citadel security measures will result in immediate incarceration. Yeah, sure. <laughs> what else is in the area? You are standing in docking area D-24. According to your biometrics file, you are cleared to access further information about this bay. This is the airlock currently assigned to the Systems Alliance ship, Normandy. If you look out the bay window, you can see one of the many magnificent vistas for which the Citadel is renowned. 
What about that room over there? The waiting area is for those who wish to speak to our new arrivals. It is located next to security processing. Thanks, Avina. That's all. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. Yeah, the, the character model seems a little different, right? The, at least for female Shepard. I don't know how it is for male Shepard. Our, sh our shoulders seem a little narrower. And obviously we've not got big armor on, but... We've got like a kind of skipping through the long grass walk. <laughs> like, hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> Welcome, Commander Shepard. One moment, please. Huerta. Now oh, those... arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. Oh, I wonder if uh, Mordin works here. Can you imagine? That'd be great. What are you doing? Humanity's in danger, dude, and you're just sat here looking at the view. What are you doing? And you? No way, that's the doctor. Let's talk to let's talk to the doctor. Give me a hug. Shepherd, there you are. Dr. Chakwas. You're here? I'm working at an Alliance R and D lab down in Shelter Woods, coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy, and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run-in with the Cerberus Synthetic on Mars. Ashley took the worst of it. How is she doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Lieutenant Commander Williams' resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. Oh, Dr. Michelle. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. What have you been working on here? The base character model just looks really mardy. I know, you know, we've got a lot on our mind, but... It's been six months, Doctor. How have you been? Good. I've been fortunate. When they impounded Normandy, the Alliance didn't really know what to do with me. I was never officially part of Cerberus, and I'd gotten a proper leave of absence from my previous post. So you hadn't technically done anything wrong by joining me to defeat the Collectors? Yes, though I suppose if you were judged to be a war criminal, I would have been tried as an accessory. Oh god, is this going to determine whether she comes with us? This could be important. Her work here, working for Hackett. But yeah, I want her with us, man. Your place is in Normandy's med bay, not some lab. I couldn't agree more. You say the word and I'm with you. So I don't know if this is still um, Paragon and Renegade. So why would stay at the labs be Renegade? Just because it's uh, forcing her out. No, I want the Doctor there. I've got a thing for the Doctor as well. Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. Don't thank me so soon. Remember, Joker's still aboard. Yeah. And I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. Excellent. Reputation? Oh, right there. Right. That was my phone. Sorry. Jesus. Right, um... Hello, Hello, other Ravina. Shepherd. Welcome to Huerta Memorial Hospital. The human specialist medical officer in charge is Dr. Michel. Also, please note that specialists for all known Citadel species are on call. Please ensure that you observe proper decontamination protocols at all times while in this area. What am I doing at all? Okay. Anything else here? Any other important areas I should know about? The Normandy is currently docked in D24, which yes. is tagged to your biometrics. Docking bay E24 has been repurposed into temporary housing to accommodate the recent influx of civilians to the Citadel. If you wish to contact your species' official Citadel representative, please go to Citadel Embassies. The Presidium Commons has been a cultural mainstay since the Council was first established at the Citadel. You can really cover treatment for any kind of species here. Huerta Memorial surpasses all requirements needed for any multi-species medical facility. This facility's attendant levels can also replicate the living conditions needed to accommodate other, more exotic species. Aquatic environments, for example, all right. are available on short notice. What about the medical staff? How do they deal with so many species? All personnel are required to undergo mandatory and regular psychological evaluations, as well as refresher courses. 
Hospital administration understands how difficult it can be for staff to deal with such a wide variety of patients. It is imperative they be offered the support needed to retain their current high standards. Local features. What else is in the area? The Huerta Memorial Hospital has experts from every major race and residency, with many specializing in Xeno medicine. The facility works with prestigious medical universities from around the galaxy, offering internships to residents and nurses. With access to cutting edge technology and support from major pharmaceutical companies, the hospital ensures the best care to its patients. What a nice little conversational montage. I appreciate it. And where does the name come from? Where'd the hospital get its name? It is named after President Christopher Huerta of Earth's United North American States. The donor who requested the tribute expressed the desire to remain anonymous. Thank you. Please yes. speak with me again if you require further assistance. No. <laughs> okay. Invasion. Mm. Okay, great. Edgy walk. Patient stable for now. That was touch and go. Good work, Dr. Freilich. The narrow splint's still the best course of action. I'll see if we have the required spatial bindings. Meet you back here. Oh, clipping. Early reports indicate that Earth has fallen to the same enemy force that attacked Batarian space. Uh, yeah, Ashley's in here. Oh, Dr. Mich Michelle was in the patient lounge. Hang on. She, she'll likely give us an update. I didn't, uh... I knew that she was talking to Chakwa, but... tells me you've refused to bathe and you only want to talk to another Asari. Yes. Can I have a gun? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's no. not funny. Maybe I could be transferred to another hospital then. Someplace on security. I could have a gun then, right? And no humans. And wherever you transfer me, it, it, it shouldn't have humans. The humans are our allies. You don't trust them? No, it's not that. I... How are my eyes? What, what, what color are they right now? Maybe you could tell me what happened. Right, where is um What's Michelle? Welcome to Serta. Um how much cash have we got? 35k. A non-profit organization dedicated to the medical needs of all sapient life. So you guys told me that the healing is different here because we've got kind of like blocks. So if we lose a full block, we will have to heal. So medigel capacity will be important. Thank you for coming to Serta. Oh, we can give these as gifts, I guess. Serta is a non-profit organization the medical needs of all sapient life. Be safe. Right, hang on. Wait, I just—I want to talk to. Oh, there she is. Commander Shepard, good to see you. Yeah, and you. Doctor Michelle, it's been a long time. Yeah, it has. Come a long way from that small clinic down in the wards. Because of you, I don't know where I'd be if you hadn't dealt with Fist and his thugs. Now I met physician in the Presidium Clinic. You gave me this chance. I assume you're here about Lieutenant Commander Williams. How's she doing? How is Ashley doing? The head trauma was severe, but we reduced the swelling quickly. These types of injury can go either way. She hasn't regained consciousness yet, but her vitals are strong, so I'm optimistic. You can go see her if you like. She's just down the hall. Okay. Uh, how many refugees have come in? This war may leave a lot of injured people homeless. Can the Citadel clinics care for them all? We're fine now, but I'm worried. Every hospital in the Citadel is preparing for the worst. I hear the docks are tightly controlled, but we just can't leave people floating out there forever. Mm, true. How well supplied are you? How are your medical supplies holding up? We're well stocked now, but I can't say I'm not worried about the future. We've posted guards on our reserves. War profiteering has already begun. 
Yeah, true. Staff. In a center of this size, you must have a lot of direct reports. We've got 12 full-time doctors and over 50 support staff. It can be overwhelming, quite different from my days in the wards. Okay, thanks, Doctor. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. So, I'm just going to menu scroll again here. I've not accidentally turned HDR back on, have I? No, thank God for that. Oh, it's the it must be the brightness. What's max brightness? Ten. Okay. So sorry if the first two episodes have been a little dark. I usually uh, put it up a little bit for YouTube. Is that a bit washed out? Mm, not sure. You guys can tell me if you're actually bothered. I'll put it on two. Uh, you're right. Let's let's. If we can bring a gift to Ashley, I guess that's what this is for. Um, a thousand for some book for some books. Are you, are you serious? These are the most expensive flowers of all time. I've got some flowers. I wasted a thousand credits on some flowers, Ashley. <laughs> okay, Ashley was here somewhere. Oh, is this her? You got pretty banged up there, Williams. Had me worried. I just wanted to check in on you. See how you're doing. Uh, yeah? Thinking about Despite you? Despite all this, it's good seeing you again, Ash. Get some rest, okay? I'll come by when you're feeling better. We'll talk. You need anything, Doc, let me know. Okay, Ash. You take care. Mash, you're going to be in here for a while then. See you soon. Yeah. Maybe she's not a squad mate. That's an Asari colony, really. Hi, Doctor. Didn't expect to see you again so soon. Well, we need to prescribe you another round of antibiotics. For when I ship out? I have some bad news. Your squad applied the Medigel correctly, but infection had already set in by the time they found you. I'm sorry. I'm afraid we have to remove your leg below the knee. What? But... I... I... It's already gone, I mate. I don't understand. It, it doesn't even hurt. It would if we took you off the painkillers, Lieutenant. Oh. Oh dear. Oh, I mean, there's nothing in the examination rooms, I guess. Okay, let's go talk to the council. Yeah, this walk is this run is a little bizarre. Where's Commander Shepard? She was last seen skipping through the hospital. <laughs> Welcome, Commander Shepard. Okay, not the embassies. I wonder how this is going to go. Because if they're attacking or they're... Mm, I don't know. Alright, alright. Yeah, so we need to go up there to Councillor Udina. Let's talk to um, Avina first. Some more Volus, cool. I hope we get to see uh, some more Hanar and Elcor. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to Citadel Embassies. The current human ambassador is Dominic Osova. Oh. Commander Bailey is the CSEC officer on duty. You will find him in the Citadel Security District Office. 
Spectre Requisitions? Where's the Spectre Requisitions office? The Spectre Requisitions district office is down the hallway to your left. Note that requisition forms are available only to agents whose biometrics are verified and on file. I think that's still us. What else is in the area? This area is reserved for human embassy personnel and attending CSEC security. The human embassy prides itself on offering swift assistance to any who fall under its auspices. Any other important areas I should know about? The Normandy is currently docked in D20. Docking okay, this is D24 the same. Has been re for medical needs, the Presidium Commons... That's it. Thanks. Please speak with me again. The Alliance military has abandoned... Sorry, I don't mean to... But, you know, we already heard that bit. Please tell the Primacy that the Vol Protectorate wishes to assist with the Alliance project. Oh, thanks. We had a Prothean obelisk that might have helped. Sadly, it was lost in the Shrike Abyssal. Nice. Oh, right. We, can... we are committed to helping both the Turian Empire and the Human Alliance. Right. You guys told me about this. It was like an eavesdrop mechanic, but we can actually just pick up quests from listening in. So some Prothean tech in the Shrike Abyssal. And we've obviously been there before in the previous games. mission and nonsense i just filled out the paperwork he's very punctual when he's on the field he checks in every week only he hasn't checked in for a while now a month anyway i'd like to file an expedited contact request yes of course ma'am but the notes on his file state he's not under a contact ban oh you already looked. How kind of you. I'm just so worried. It's not like him to go quiet for so long. As soon as I get news, ma'am, I'll let you know as soon as I get news. Thank you. You're such a nice young woman. You know, you remind me of my daughter. Oh, dear. Now we're really going to have to be thorough with looking around for other people's stories then. In case we pick up side quests. I mean, that sounds like it could be quite important as well. It's a Prothean artifact. Uh, sorry. The CSEC office, we can look in there. There is no anti-humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Al Jalani. The council's simply not granting interviews at this time. My viewers are going to know that CSEC and the Council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. <laughs> Commander Shepard? Commander, humanity has questions. <laughs> Damn press. So you're keeping the peace? Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. Yeah, so why did you take the job? Just for the, the money, maybe? If you didn't want to be up, why would you accept? You don't say no to Councillor Udina. Well, maybe you would, but I gotta live yeah. here. Fair I know enough. Squeaky Wheel gets the oil, but I didn't lobby for a promotion like some other officers. Which is why you suited I'm not to even it. Not sure why he picked me. I never know with politicians. I hate political BS. You're gonna have to bear it, mate. Don't lose your edge. You might need it. I oh, wouldn't mind an excuse to get my fingers dirty. <laughs> It's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. Now I may never. Yeah. If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. Ragnarok. 
I'm up to my neck in trouble, but if there's anything you need, I'll do my damnedest to help. Nice. Okay, you didn't get to do this though, just just then for a second. Um, how did your promotion come about? It was Udina who made you a commander, huh? Yeah, he's become an even bigger shot around here. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of ambition. He suspected Executor Palin was conspiring against the Council and had me investigate. Find anything incriminating? Yeah, enough to arrest him. When Palin resisted, <laughs> I was forced to kill him. Udina rewarded me with the promotion. Wow. And near as I can tell, being a commander just means I'm putting out different fires. Suppose. How'd you feel about the war? Is the Citadel gearing up for war? Uh, there's a false sense of security here. Mm. Even people mm. from worlds that have gone down act like they're safe. Well, I guess it's not just human nature. We all lie to ourselves to deal with horror. True. How is is it is it functioning all right, or is the the refugees the, the war profiteering affecting things? Anything important going on around here? <laughs> you kidding? With the Reapers running roughshod through the galaxy, it seemed like the Council is in constant session. We got more ambassadors and dignitaries here than ever before pleading their cases. But that's just the tip of the iceberg, really. Any trouble? <laughs> Thought things were relatively quiet here. Well, compared to where you're coming from, sure. But the war is being felt everywhere. Millions across the galaxy have been displaced, and most of them come here. Mm. Must have you doing somersaults. <laughs> yeah, already allocated the bulk of my men to customs, but we're still overtaxed, cataloging and processing them all. And how's your family? You got loved ones out there? Somewhere. Ex-wife I lost track of, and... And a son and daughter. They're still on Earth. I'm sorry, Bailey. Yeah, I'm just like everyone else. I'm losing myself and things I can control. And at the moment, that means creating the illusion of security here. Fair enough, mate. Guess you've got no, not much time for me, then. We both have jobs to do, Bailey. Yeah. I suggest we do them. Yep. Good talking to you, Shepard. He, he's been given a surprising amount of screen time, if, if that makes sense. I don't know why it's surprising to me. I just... Compared to how he kind of came across on my first impression of him, I didn't think he would get this kind of attention, to be perfectly honest. But uh, he is, he's, a, he's a good dude. Uh, Spectre Requisitions Office. Alright, so we're still recognised as a Spectre. Oh, could we have gone in the office suite? We'll check that out on the way out. Okay. Okay. Wow. Wow. Wowee. Look at the lens flares on these guns. <laughs> uh, we can't afford any of this. Literally none of it. Welcome to the Spectre Information Processing Center. This terminal offers secure information access and support for authorization of covert operations or requisitions. It's restricted to operatives currently on active duty with special tacti tactics and reconnaissance. Any operation requiring payment can be executed at the terminal nearby, which supports secure and untraceable financial transactions. Quarian Fleet, Intel. Okay. Quarian Pilgrim. Jen Volan Narnima on the Citadel received a large credit transfer from the fleet. Jen Volan purchased tech including high-end weapon mounts and kinetic barrier emitters from several ship service centers. On Ilium, another Quarian pilgrim, when identified, was observed searching for a ship traveling close to the Perseus Vale. The pilgrim was later heard saying that his pilgrimage was recalled. Recalled. Data suggests the Quarian fleet is withdrawing its pilgrims and upgrading ships for combat somewhere near the Perseus Vale. This could be a reaction to the Reaper invasion, but no formal offer or request for assistance has come. Intel suggests the Quarians may instead be preparing for a conflict with the Geth. Yeah, the Perseus Vale. Crap. That's the last thing we need, dude. 
We need both of them. Oh, no. Shooting range, really? Yeah, all right. Okay, great. Oh, we can use shotguns as well. That is seriously heavy. So you guys explained the the shooting the the explosion combo stuff to me. Uh, I think I prefer this. Oh, it's got stats. Okay. Better fire rate, better capacity, less damage, less accuracy. But it's, it's lighter. So I think I'm going to go with the Avenger. Uh, because, yeah, from what how you explain, how you guys explained the explosion combos, I can essentially spam overload and incinerate to create like massive damage and, and vulnerabilities on, on people. Uh, what? Is this a dead end? Okay. Alright, Udina. Commander. Councillor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the council is already in session. Uh-oh. We've got All our right. own problems, Councillor. Earth is not in this alone. But Earth was the first council world hit. By our reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. By your reports. Oh, for God's sake. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked by the Reapers. Don't ask for evidence, don't you dare. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Each of us faces a similar situation. Even now, the Reapers are pressing on our borders. If we lend you our strength to help Earth, our own worlds will fall. We must fight this enemy together. And so we should just follow you to Earth? Even if we were to unite our fleets, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. A blueprint for what? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. Capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. The scale is... It would be a colossal undertaking. No. I forwarded the plans to Admiral Hackett. The remnants of the human fleet are already gathering resources to begin construction. Our initial calculations suggest it is very feasible to build. If we work together. Have you considered that the Reapers destroyed the Protheans? What good did this weapon do? We didn't it have time. Complete. Yeah. There was a missing component here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? <laughs> I really... The, the Turian counselor is by far the worst to talk to, but... Yeah, I believe in doing something instead of just retreating to our planet for no apparent reason. Liara believes it can work and so do I. And while I haven't always agreed with Udina, he's right about this. We need to stand together, now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop it, Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. The cruel and unfortunate truth 
is that while the Reapers focus on Earth, we can prepare and regroup. We are convening a summit amongst our species. If we can manage to secure our own borders, we may once again consider aiding. I'm sorry, Commander. That is the best we can do. Shepard, meet me in my office. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. Well, as if they just bottled it. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. Yeah, I know. So are we you. We may have a spot on the council, <laughs> but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? They're scared, and they're looking out for themselves. Our people are scared, and we are looking out for them the best we know how. Counselor? Commander, I can't give you what you need, but I can tell you how to get it. I wasn't expecting this. I'm listening. Primarch Fedorian called the War Summit, but we lost contact with him when the Reapers hit Palavin. Those meetings won't proceed without him. The Normandy is one of the few ships that can extract Primarch Fedorian undetected. <laughs> how, does it, how does this help me? So far, you've only explained how I can help you. It might seem that way. But the leaders of this summit will be the ones deciding our future. The fate of our fleets, where they fight, and with whom. A grateful Primarch would be a tremendous ally in your bid to unite us. We're at war, and you want me to play politician? If it gets you what you need, what does it matter? Oh, can we slap him? Our latest intelligence says that the Primarch was moved to a base on Palavin's largest moon. I've done all I can to help. The rest is up to you. There is one other thing. The Council wanted me to tell you. We've chosen to uphold your Spectre status. Thanks. And various resources will be made available to you. Good day. Well, that went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. Ah, oh, man. Alright, so that's a priority mission. Right. The Shrike Abyssal. A Volus diplomat needs a Prothean obelisk. Recover it from the Shrike Abyssal and deliver it to him in the Citadel Embassy. What? I thought we were going to use it. Okay. Uh, Primarch for Dorian. In the Turian hierarchy, it's called a war summit that presents an opportunity for the Alliance to request help building the Crucible. Unfortunately, Fedorian was caught in the Reaper attack on Palavin. Rescue the Turian Primarch from Palavin's moon. Sure. Council, yeah, Council Od Udina. Reaper variants? Huh. Reaper capabilities. Council. And we're going to have to read all of this, aren't we? Citadel space. I mean, the codex isn't just the same thing. Like in Mass Effect 2, it was pretty much a lot of the same information if you'd already read it in Mass Effect 1 you didn't there was no benefit in reading it again oh man all right Udina what else can you tell me my friend well not friend but... the council you saved their lives and for what oh shit yeah that's a good point man we'd be in unilateral control now boil down to maybe later if we don't figure out something Maybe later will be an epitaph on a mass grave of 11 billion. I know what I'm going to do. What are you going to do? Humanity has created some goodwill in the galaxy. Now we cash in our chips. I will get what funding I can, what materials I can, and spread the message. Help the humans help yourselves. I'll institute a draft in our colonies and order all civilian ships armed. Work on the Prothean device will be around the clock. Okay, good to know. Is there any word from Earth? Any news from Earth? There is constant news. All of it bad. 
The Reapers are destroying satellites in the old nuclear missile silos, along with everything else that could help. We have a handful of quantum entanglers spread out over the continents. All other communication is cut. Uh, leverage over what? Maybe Quarians, Krogan, Rachni? What's your read on the counselors? Any angles oh. I could pursue? Tabos is a diplomat and compromiser, but she's wrapped up in defending Asari space like a mother panther. Valern is out of his depth. The Salarians like their wars won before they start. Mm. They're frightened now. Use that. In Sparatus, I'd take what he offers. It's strange days when the Turians are the least hostile to humans. And there's a need there. Okay, so we might actually be able to talk to each individual counselor separately. The political situation after the Batarian stuff? You're a Citadel counselor. Don't you have options when the others block you like this? With Parliament destroyed and Shastri gone, I have more power than any human in history. But today, you saw how little that is. Rest assured, I will not be counted out long. I know I can move mountains. Do not lose sight of that, because the task before us is moving planets. I will get on with it. Anderson would be proud, so long as you deliver. You think he can do that? You need a carrot or a stick to drive a mule, and humanity has neither right now. Our armada is tied down fighting or fleeing, and with Earth's calm buoys gone, our economy is reduced to an IOU. But leave that part to me. I will lean on our colonies for all they're worth, and I can broker enough trade to repair and resupply Hackett's fleet. Okay, good to know. And how are you dealing with this, personally? Did you know a lot of people on Earth? Many. It's monstrous to think of them being snuffed out, of course, but the part that gets me is Arcturus. I must know... I must have known most of the Alliance Parliament on a first-name basis. I required a second VI just to track all their birthdays and anniversaries. Rose Garden stuff, but to have it all gone. Mm. Yeah, crazy. All right, thanks, Udina, despite you being a bit of a dickhead. I should go. I'll be here. Yeah. Um. So we can talk to Al Jalani again. Oh, and James is there. Okay. Oh God, he's probably talking to her. I don't know why they couldn't get the running animation down. <laughs> James, where are you? Where's James? Commander Shepard. Commander, the people of the Alliance have questions. Do one. Alright, fine. Commander Shepard. Kalisa bent seen in Al Jalani. Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best we can expect? I've had enough of your tabloid journalism. <laughs> she don't. Not this time, you military thug! Oh, I, I missed the no. click! On second thought, never mind. I don't have any more questions for you. No! I was laughing too hard. Oh, that's going to affect my reputation. Hey, Commander. Liara hey, James. Liara's council's not interested in helping us. Something like that. <laughs> Why would they? Look at this place. There's no war here. People are whispering about it. They're talking about it. But they don't really believe it. Yeah. You don't like it here, then? I take it this is your first time here with the elite of the galaxy. I've been to the Citadel, but never up here on the Presidium. It's not right. It looks pretty, calm and peaceful. But it's not right. It's all just an illusion. It was peaceful. Once. But was it? Really? I mean, when push comes to shove, they're just gonna turtle up. Oh, but don't hit them too, right? They'd rather believe in this than face the truth. Um, it's hard to believe, I suppose, but they're going to have to eventually. I can hardly believe it myself. Like everything back on mm. Earth was some kind of nightmare. Yeah. 
That's what I hate most. It's like this place wants you to forget that. So, you still want to go back to Earth? Hell yeah, but... But? You were right. So was Anderson. We can't stop them alone. Besides, looks like you're gonna have your hands full convincing these pendejo politicians to help us. And I'm up for it. Whatever it takes. Glad to hear it. I'm gonna head down to some of the lower levels where they keep it real. You got some spare time? You should come and find me. Maybe I'll do that. All right, big man. I quite like him, to be fair. He's got a lot of character. Okay. Uh, so uh, I forgot to go in here, right? How do we get in the office suite? Hey! Do you know the way in? Can't believe I got punched up by the bloody journalist. I was laughing too hard, I took my hand off the mouse, okay? Okay! Okay, so, guess this is where we're going. Um, how, right, we got, we got like five minutes. Let's read these Reaper entries. Um, I won't, I'm not going to leave on the Normandy just yet. Okay. Reaper variants. The Citadel races have classified the known variants of Reapers into four types. Interesting. Capital ships are sovereign class Reapers two kilometers in length. They typically target the dreadnoughts, defense installations, and industrial cities of organic civilizations. Experts believe the Reapers harvest a single species of organics during each cycle of extinction to create these massive ships. Some capital ships are capable of launching small drones equivalent to fighters. Destroyers are 160 meters long and in astounding number make up the bulk of the Reaper fleet. They engage cruisers and other smaller ships as well as communications posts and enemy command centers. Research suggests destroyers are created from those species that are not harvested to make capital ships. Troop transports carry husks and unconquered planets, carry husks to unconquered planets and bring victims of the harvest to reaper processing centers. They vary in length from 200 meters to one kilometer, but unlike capital ships and destroyers don't appear to be self-aware. Right. Instead, other reaper reapers operate troop transports remotely. Interesting. Interesting. Processors, also called slaughter ships, are mobile centers for mass DNA harvesting. Like troop transports, processors appear to be remotely operated by sapient reapers. So, destroyers and capital ships are sapient still? Uh, there was another entry, right, on reapers? Or oh, something was updated. Here we go. Reaper capabilities. The Reapers are technologically superior to the organic species of the galaxy, but but they disagree. What? Oh, degree. But the degree of that superiority is a matter of debate in the intelligence community. Huh. The Reaper's thrusters and faster than light drives appear to propel them at more than twice the speed of Citadel ships. Estimates of their location in dark space suggest they can travel nearly 30 light years in a 24 hour period. Reaper power sources seem to violate known physical laws. Reapers usually destroy fuel infrastructure rather than attempting to capture it intact, indicating that Reapers don't require organic species energy supplies. Consequently, the Reapers attack without regard for maintaining supply lines behind them, except to move husks from one planet to another. Unlike Citadel ships, Reapers don't appear to discharge static buildup from their drive cores, although they sometimes appear wreathed in static discharge when they land on planets. Right. The main gun on a Reaper capital ship dwarfs that of any Alliance Everest-class dreadnoughts. Alliances, Everest class dreadnoughts. No dreadnought has yet survived a direct hit from the weapon. Estimates put its destructive power anywhere from 132 to 454 kilotons of TNT, even if the target is hardened, as in the case of a surface based missile silo. The gun can instead bury the target beneath molten metal. 
Precise targeting computers and correctors also give Reaper weapons a longer effective range than Organic's dreadnoughts or cruisers. The kinetic barriers on a Reaper capital ship can shrug off the firepower of a small fleet. Weapons specifically designed to overcome shields such as the Javelin, Guardian lasers or Thanix series can bypass the barriers to some degree. The difficulty is getting close enough to use them. The surface mounted weaponry on Reaper ships, similar in principle to Guardian, presents an effective defense against organic species fighters. Okay, so they're using a form of fuel that is unknown or from somewhere else. So it, maybe that implies that they're from another galaxy, right? That they didn't originate here. That's interesting, right? That's really interesting. Welcome, Commander Shepard. One moment, please. That's really interesting. Now arriving at Docking Bay D24. They don't use Ezo, they don't use any of that. Right. Maybe they use something to do with like black holes or something to jump around. Anyway. Right guys, um I'm gonna leave that episode there. We'll jump back we'll jump on board the Normandy for the first time. In the next episode maybe explore who this dr ava is this synthetic it seems because we we called it a synthetic right so phew. where's legion when you need him right so i hope you enjoyed this episode leave me a like if you did and just remember everybody never trust an on crate i'll see you next time